What up, YouTube? It's Misery Hates Company here, your favorite Twitch streamer. Today, we are looking at the one, the only, the Mythic AS Val. I love this gun. It is so cool. The, from the running animation to all the different attachments, I just everything about it. And it's good. It's actually good. When the AS Val first came out, it was pretty bad and then they updated it and then the mythic came out and now it's amazing and now I just love this gun might actually be one of my new favorites and with that being said I want to share with you guys my favorite loadout so without further ado I want to show you guys how you get the mythic AS Val how you get all the attachments how do you max it out what that looks like what that process looks like and then we're gonna get into some sweet ranked gameplay and then last but not least what you all came here for that super dope misery stance of approval loadout for the mythic AS Val. Let's get it. All right, so let's look at how you get this mythic AS Val. All right, so of course, start with the lucky draw. You gotta probably max it out. Gotta get all the different things. The J358, the parachute, the Karambit, QXR, all right, all, and all these different things, right? You have to get all this fun stuff. Then after you get that, you have to, once you unlock the Mythic AS Val, right? You go to Upgrade. Upgrades, baby, upgrades. All right, then it's all luck again. So you go from luck to more luck and more luck. So you have to basically get these cards, which is how you upgrade the level of your Mythic weapon. So just because you get it doesn't mean you got everything. You got to keep going. So there's a certain level of uh, you know randomness in this, and obviously the the 80s and the 50s and 40s are hard to come by. You don't get that you don't get a lot of them. You get a lot of 10s and 20s, but you could get lucky. Could not. It's all RNG, right? And then after you get however many credits you think you need or you want to upgrade different levels, you then go to your arsenal. So in the arsenal, you're gonna see all the different legendary guns. So of course, in this case, we have the Mythic AS Val. We also have the Peacekeeper and the Fennec. I don't have any of any of those, but that's you can look through your arsenal to look at them all. And you can also see your legendaries. So you click on the gun you want to upgrade. So in this case, it's the AS Val. God, it looks so cool. So you start off with the regular, the regular bonus attachments. So all these different attachments that look super cool, right? And uh, the first one you get is actually probably the best one. It's all the ones about ADS speed, which is probably what you're going to want to use, at least if you use my build. <laughs> and then after that, so you get a sticker, which kind of sucks that you know you gotta get these really hard to get cards in order to get a sticker i mean i guess it's cool but like no then you get this really cool unique muzzle flash it's more for the enemies than it is for you but it's red ish which makes it kind of look like a regular one so i personally don't use this one but the next one is really cool this is the death effect it's like a circle that closes in on them pretty cool not gonna lie I get behind it, like Doctor Strange style. All right, next you got the next round of random attachments. So these are, I'm sorry, this is the ADS speed one. The other one is more of like a medium build. So I use basically a combination of these two um, loadout skins, but we'll get to the loadout in a little bit. And then you get, oh, level five, a charm, a mythic level. It says mythic level five, unique charm, legendary charm. You can even make a mythic. I mean, it's a claw, bro. It's a claw charm of claw hammer. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. Then you get this muzzle flash, which I personally use the most, which is the uh, the blue one, I guess. The thunder roar. Thunder roar. <laughs> and then after that, level seven, you get the uh, the unique death effect, the thunder. What is it called? Thundering. So level. So level seven, you get this thundering death effect, which is super dope. And then last but not least, you get the, what we'll call the sniper version of the AS Val. I personally have not played around with it. If it's good, I've seen a couple really good builds that early like, people say they're good. I'll play around with it and let you all know. I might even make a new YouTube video or maybe I'll just pin a comment at the bottom if I find a good build that's, um, you know, worthwhile. People say this is good in, uh, in VR, but I'll just need to, I need to spend some more time on it. So for right now, it just looks hella cool. Like that scope though, that scope is real, real cool. But anyway, so, and that's how you get all the different levels of the mythic gun that you want. Now, let's get straight into that gameplay. Let's go. Bye. Not today, sir. Bye. Thunderstruck. Uh, I'm 
minus any problem. Yep. Clear him out, clear him out, baby. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now that we're ready for the, uh, the loadout part of the video, let's look at our shovel. I mean AS Val. <laughs> All right, so first things first, for the barrel, I look at the MIP quick response barrel. That of course gives you the ADS time and the plus 5% movement speed. Definitely good for this build. And then you already know what I was gonna use, which is the OWC laser tactical. Again, giving you the ADS time and ADS bullet spread. They even got that cool little, I mean, it's just mythic level coolness on the attachments too, it's so dope. And then I use the striker foregrip. Now this is where I feel like I differ from a lot of people on this build. So this gives you the vertical recoil and the ADS bullet spread. This just, in my opinion, helps it so you can actually control it at longer ranges. So this is still very much an SMG type build for the AS Val, like a lot of people are running and ranked. But this attachment, in my opinion, makes it so much better at longer fights. So if you need to look down you know, a long alleyway and kill someone from far away, you actually can do it without, you know, having this uncontrollable uh, recoil. So that's a key part to this build, in my opinion. Next, next, of course, we look at the large extended mag B. I feel like everyone uses this. This gun just melts through ammo. So the plus 10 magazine size is huge. Then last but not least, I run the granulated grip tape with, of course, the mythic attachment for it. <laughs> just makes it look a little bit cooler. And this again gives you the ADS bullet spread again, just to help just that little bit more when it comes to aiming down sights and the damage you do at long to medium ranges. All right, so this is the mythic AS battle that I run. I even use the same build in BR. I like it that much. Now again, I'll play around with like the sniper version that people are talking about, but I don't think it's gonna be that meta compared to this, or you can just use the SKS, which I love. So again, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. And until next time, lock it in. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are having great growth on YouTube. And as always, please smash the like button. It costs you nothing, helps the channel out a great deal, gets this video to promote to more people and more people and more people, which just helps everyone. So until next time, I hope you have a great day and a great night and a good afternoon and lock it in.